Hello, this is Bingo from TradingFootball.eu uh, and in this video I, I want to show you a typical weekend trading activity um, here at Trading Football. From the good and the bad and the uh, ugly, from the inspired to the frankly sort of plain lucky, um, we're looking at pre-match selections and also um, in-play suggestions uh, made both by myself uh, and members of our Trading Football chat room community. We kick off with the, the lunchtime Saturday game West Ham and Swansea uh, and in this game we took as our main trade the half-time full-time market where we backed West Ham Swansea and Swansea West Ham plus we backed 2-1 and 1-2 in the correct score market we also backed over 3.5 goals for £10 and in addition, uh, we back both teams to score no. So there's uh, sort of four different markets there, some that are actually as insurance. And in the 35th minute, uh, West Ham took the lead. And well, Swansea were, uh, frankly, absolutely dire uh, in this particular game. And uh, throughout the whole 90 minutes, uh, they never looked like uh, scoring. So the first uh, thing I wanted to do here was um, clear up some of the red in the half-time full-time market. Um, I backed West Ham Swansea at 40s pre-match uh, and now I laid at West Ham Swansea, the, the same uh, market, uh, for £10. So uh, I cleared the £10 red on that particular market. Ideally, I'd like uh, uh, Swansea to score, but it looked kind of pretty doubtful. So I decided to lay uh, the 2 1, the £5, so thereby reducing our red on the correct score market from £10 to £5. I mean, all the while in trades like this, um, you're kind of looking primarily to try and reduce your red um, as the goals go in. So there are lays going in and uh, the, the video kind of moves on uh, quite quickly here. We've got uh, West Ham scored just before half time. Uh, we're now into the 75th minute and uh, West Ham are leading 2-0. Uh, and we're coming up uh, to, towards the end of the game. Um, I decided to quickly put a small back of two pounds at 17.5 on 2-1 uh, as it happened uh, Swansea true to form didn't produce anything so um, we lost seven pounds on the correct score market uh, but we won 14 pounds on the BTTS market uh, and we came out with uh, uh, an overall loss of two pounds there and over to Holland where 20 are playing Campbell and Campbell, the underdog, uh, have actually taken the lead in the first half. So I've decided to back 20 for £20 at 2.42. And we can see that um, 20 were the very heavy 1.25 uh, pre-match favourites. Uh, and Campbell were the 12.5 underdogs pre-match. Uh, a quick trip over to Italy with Sassu Olo against Verona. Where we've laid the draw uh, for £10. And additionally, uh, back over in Holland, um, I decided to lay 1-1. One, one. OK, this would uh, increase the liability somewhat, but the market certainly would expect uh, 20 to get back into the game. Uh, so I've laid 1-1 one, one for £10 at 3.9. Uh, now, the idea being, of course, that if 20... Uh, actually uh, got an equaliser, um, then it's very likely that the 1-1 one, one price uh, would actually drift from 3.9 uh, to over fours, maybe even up to fives, uh, depending, of course, uh, upon the timing of the goal. So we'll kind of wait uh, and hope uh, to see if 20 do get the equaliser, which in fact they did on the 54th minute. So that's good news for our match odds. We'll come back to that market uh, now, uh, where we can actually um, hedge for green, uh, around about £8. 
or alternatively uh, we could just uh, lay 20 for a small amount to clear the red uh, and there we see uh, the 1 1 price in fact did actually uh, drift out uh, as predicted uh, from 3.9 to 4.5 uh, the market would uh, definitely expect uh, another goal to be scored there uh, over the next sort of 30 35 minutes of the game remaining so i've decided uh, quickly to exit the correct score market so i backed 1 1 at 4.7 for eight pounds uh, giving a uh, just a two pound green hedge profit on the correct score market uh, and i've also decided to uh, hedge for green in the match odds market um, partly because i've got uh, sort of so many other trades going on i think i'd just rather sort of take the 10 pound green while it's available there and you'll notice that i'm using the betfair cash out function uh, which has its uses but it also has its disadvantages uh, and in fact uh, I, I've tried three times here um, to uh, get matched um, but it hasn't actually worked I mean it's, it's a useful function if you want to do something you know as quickly as possible rather than sort of doing it manually uh, and very often you kind of don't always get the best prices too by using that function Anyway, there we go. Um, it's all uh, hedged out now for the green of sort of eight pounds. So it's about sort of ten pound fifty profit uh, over in Holland. Back to England, the Championship. Forest are playing Yeovil, uh, and my first thought pre-match was just to simply lay under four point five. Uh, and then actually, I sort of changed my mind, uh, and I decided to back one one, two two, and three three. Sassuolo Verona um, I'd laid the draw and uh, I'm trying to lay it again if I can remember correctly is I'd laid it for 10 pounds at uh, two uh, five pounds at 2.3 uh, 2.58 excuse me and now I'm laying it again for five pounds at 2.36 so I've got a 14 pound 70 liability there and a 10 pound green should Sassuolo or Verona uh, win the game. Back over at Forest, um, who took the lead uh, after about 20 minutes, and uh, Yeovil equalised in the first half. Now this gives me an opportunity um, to possibly, not exactly green. Oh, I could green up there for sort of five pound ninety-nine, six pounds. Um, it's the first half. I, I'm got a feeling there's kind of going to be more goals here. Um, so I simply just decided to um, clear my red uh, of, of £10 and uh, sort of hope for some more goals. So I'm leaving uh, some green on the 2-2 two -two and the 3-3 three -three at least. The 1-1 one -one lay has been matched at £5 at 11s. I was looking also to to lay the two two and the three three just to you know perhaps sort of clear that five pound red, but I decided against it. Uh, you know, twenty seven minutes gone, and uh, you know more goals were there, so I, I reduced it by five pounds. Uh, back in Italy, um, good news for us: Verona uh, scored, so the uh, lay the draw, and the match odds looking okay. Uh, and I also decided uh, on about 80 minutes to um, lay the current score uh, of nil one. And I decided to lay again at 1.18. And in the match odds, I, I'm also laying Verona at 1.18. So there we go. So I'm really hoping for uh, another goal now as I've laid the current score uh, which duly came in so in the uh, 88th minute Verona scored a second so I've got a, a guaranteed profit of £10 on the correct score market and it looks like a uh, £4.60 profit on Verona um, I'd also backed under 2.5 goals at half time uh, sorry I'd laid under 2.5 goals at half time um, so Bit of a nice surprise coming up in that game in the last minute 
Um, back over at Forest, uh, they took the lead 2-1. Still going to let that to a particular trade run. And uh, back in um, Italy, uh, I uh, laid the uh, nil one uh, and uh, and the nil two, and also um, the Sassuolo goal in injury time um, gave me the twenty pound profit uh, on over two point five two. So um, you know less than seven pounds on the under three point five goals, which I admitted to tell you about, uh, which I'd uh, actually done pre-match. On to the uh, Sunday's main trade of the day, Arsenal Crystal Palace, um, based around um, laying Arsenal in the next goal market at 1.25. Um, I actually got matched at 1.32 in the end. Um, uh, the next goal market in this particular strategy um, sort of works best uh, with a very, very heavy favourite. Um, and it's kind of... Uh, a nice kind of trade um, if of course the the underdog takes the first goal so what you're doing here is laying the very heavy favorite next goal market but also uh, backing some correct scores and we'll come back to back to that one um, Forrest we're coming up to the final minutes there and uh, you know I've got a scratch trade here so for the sake of two pound fifty I'm going to lay the current score of two one uh, for ten pounds might get a little bit lucky. You never know. So many goals are scored in the, in the in the last sort of few minutes of game. So, uh, and there it was. Um, Forrest uh, scored a third to make it three one and a nice ten pound profit over there, back in uh, in Forest. Um, Premier League um, Arsenal nil nil at half time. And I've got you know it's sort of quite a lot of correct score cover uh, in favour of Arsenal. Um, the one nil being kind of uh, the the worst kind of danger scenario for me, uh, and they did take the lead um, just after half time uh, to go well one nil in front. Uh, the one one therefore now becomes a bit of a danger, so I decided to lay Arsenal in the match odds at one point one two. So I've got a, a green on of sixty pounds on Palace or the draw. So that takes care of all those kind of eventualities. Um, what I've got to sort of beware of in the correct score market now, um, one nil, yeah, okay, I've got thirteen pounds there. Um, that sort of would be a, a kind of a losing uh, position of about sort of fourteen, fifteen pounds. Two nil looks better. Three nil as well. So you know, it's possible I could. You know, be losing this trade, um, but I don't want to lose. You know, as it was, you know, one nil at some point was uh, a sixty-pound loss, a whole hundred percent wipeout. So, so I definitely had to cover that at some point. Arsenal did score the second, and although I've got you know four nil and four one covered in the uh, correct score two market, um, I've got a you know a forty-three pound. Uh, liability on the correct score so um, it's it looks unlikely at this stage that I'm going to actually make a profit of this so you know I want to try and keep it uh, keep the potential loss down uh, to as much as I can um, coming towards the end of the game I backed 2-1 and 3-0 uh, for two pounds each so one more goal sort of either way uh, and that would give me so roughly sort of 10 11 12 pound uh, overall profit on there if it stayed 2 nil i'm going to be losing uh, around about 11 pounds uh, and the game actually uh, ended full time 2 nil uh, but that was kind of an interesting trade in the sense that there were potentially very sort of big profits didn't quite work out but yet you know we were chipping away um, by adding a, sort of a few pounds here and there uh, to to at least sort of give us a chance of not uh, suffering a, a massive loss. French League One and Lorient Monaco. The stats sort of suggested that uh, both teams, you know, got good scoring form. So I backed both teams to score yes for twenty pounds, and uh, the underdog Lorient playing at home. They opened the scoring 
after about 15 minutes. That's good news because the market obviously expects the heavy favourite Monaco uh, to at least get uh, on the score sheet. So, you know, I could uh, cash out there. Um, and because the goal came early, I could also uh, take a, a hedge green profit on the uh, over 2.5 market, which I'd backed uh, for £15 uh, pre-match. So, you know, at the moment I could have been looking at sort of £5.60 profit on the over under 2.5. I decided to hedge for that. Um, plus, uh, it's around about, I think, 12 or £13 pounds on the uh, both teams to score yes market. OK, £6.70 there. There's about £6 pounds on the um, over 2.5. So, I mean, I could take sort of 12 or £13 pound profit. Um, you know, only what, sort of 20 minutes played. So, I'm kind of taking a half measure by at least reducing uh, the red on both of those particular markets. I mean, I'm doing that particularly because, you know, when a dog scores uh, and the heavy favourite um, is expected uh, to get, get back into the game, I think it's worth leaving the trade to run or at least taking sort of a 50%. Uh, precautionary measure against your uh, liabilities. So I've reduced the BTTS yes to £10 and I've uh, reduced the over 2.5 uh, liability down to £5. And I've got a potential £30 profit, so I'm just waiting basically for Monaco to score. Now, having been burnt so many times by this sort of 1-0 um, early lead in, in many games, and one expects there to be more goals, um, I always tend now to take at least uh, some kind of uh, cover, uh, should that actually there be no more goals. So uh, a, a very small uh, back of two pounds at 5.5 .5 on one nil. And should it stay that way, uh, the final result of one nil, well at least I'd, I'd probably be losing, you know, no more than sort of five or six pounds there. Okay, uh, Monaco did equalise in the 41st minute, so that meant our both teams score yes. Uh, trade has come in for a profit of £13.80 there. I'm clearing the £5 red on the over 2.5 goal market. If I can get matched, of course, but not at, not at 1.2. As you can see, I, I can take the £7.80 uh, 7 profit there, but uh, I kind of let that run. Uh, I wasn't, in fact, uh, matched in the end. So let's see uh, how that one goes. Um, Travelling sort of all over Europe and over to Hanover against Munchen Gladbach. This was a game where, you know, goals are expected. Therefore, I'd, I'd laid pre-match under 4.5 uh, with some backing of higher score lines in the correct score market. Now, you know, Munchen Gladbach uh, doing very well at the moment in the Bundesliga, lying fourth. And Hanover, although, you know, a very good sort of home record, um, one expected there, you know, to be goals, you know, at least from both sides. Um, and that wasn't happening. Um, so um, Hanover, in fact, took the lead uh, into the second half after about 50 minutes, and they scored a second uh, on 80 minutes. And the trade was, you know, it was looking a, a kind of a bit iffy at, at this particular point. Um, so I needed to do something sort of, you know, fairly decisive, getting myself in a little bit deeper. Uh, so I backed 2-0. 
and as I was waiting uh, for that to get matched we'll see that uh, in fact um, Gladback did actually pull a goal back uh, in the 88th minute um, to make it 2-1 uh, and we've got a nice 74 pound green there on 2-1 um, which we can now lay uh, at uh, 1.4 for 50 pounds so that's giving me a 21 pound possible green on the correct score less the 16 pound 80 red on the under 4.5 so I'm looking at sort of around about a six pound uh, possible uh, profit there um, now there's what sort of five six minutes left to go and I've still got sort of 54 pound green on 2-1 so I can afford to uh, lay that again which I did for 20 pounds and this will give me a 41 pound green on any other score less than 16 pounds 80 on the under 4.5 liability um, so you know it's a 25 pound sort of minimum profit uh, on there a particular game the video can sort of quickly wind on it forward a little bit yeah um, there we go it's 2-1 there's kind of what sort of injury time two or three minutes left there so um, a final lay of 2-1 for five pounds at 1.2 just simply to equalize the red uh, sorry the green uh, so I'm getting a 46 pounds um, hedge green profit on the correct score market there uh, as I say less than 16 pounds so uh, on the under 4.5 so I've got a sort of a 30 pound uh, profit uh, on the Hanover game uh, over in Germany and in fact Hanover did uh, score a third in injury time uh, to make it 3-1 and that was the end of you know a fairly successful and a fairly typical um, weekend trading